The American Museum of Natural History has been collecting animal specimens for over a century. Many come from museum expeditions where animals were tracked down and killed so they could be preserved and put on display. But there is now a way to study live animals without killing them. DNA samples are collected in the wild, then brought back to the museum where they are studied. The DNA is then placed in these tanks of liquid nitrogen for long-term storage. Uh, we have uh, the capacity for a million specimens within, within all of these containers, so roughly 200,000 individual samples. The DNA sits next to samples from all over the world, including DNA from this species, screech owls. They used to be common in New York City. Today, the museum would like to know if they might return to the city's parks and trees. Finding their DNA can help solve the riddle. We were lucky enough to get some feathers from the last box. Um, I'm, the part I'm interested in is the very, very tip of the feather, um, where hopefully there's some, a few skin cells um, of the owl that left on there. I'll scrape those off and extract the DNA. So the information that you get from that individual will tell you, do you have a resident population of birds, or is this just an individual that may be passing through? Allowing us to predict whether or not screech owls will be able to persist into the public park areas here within New York City. Thanks to modern technology, the museum's big game hunters have been replaced by DNA hunters, allowing animals to rest a bit easier in the wild.